In the previous tutorial, we were taking a look at WordPress custom fields. This is one of my favorite features for being able to add content that goes on a, an individual page or post that you want to customize the output of in your template. I think it's great. Now, occasionally this works wonders, but occasionally you need to change the entire template itself for the page that you're on so that you can change a lot more than just a, a simple custom field. So it means that we need to go into custom templates itself. Fortunately, I have a sample of this. So going into the themes, let's take a look. We're at custom templates right now. I have a new file here um, and that's called my custom page. Now I've gone ahead and, and removed all the custom fields out of this for right now, but this custom page has some important information at the top and that is a template name. Um, that template name right here is what's going to appear in WordPress when we try and call up on this page. Everything else pretty much is the same exact code that we get in our index page. The only difference here is that I do have an H1 right here, just so we know that this is the um, custom page. Plus, I'm also saying po uh, post custom page, so I've given it a different class. Everything else uh, pretty much the same. I am getting the sidebar extra on this one, whereas on the main page, if I take a look at this one, I'm getting just the regular sidebar menu and sidebar main. And uh, I don't have the H1 at the top of my um, section, my content section. Um, pretty much everything else is the same. So let's take a look at how this is employed. If I go to view the site, you'll notice everything looks pretty much the same when I'm on services or products. But what I'm going to do is change it so that services uses this particular template. So to go to pages, services, and I'm going to change this to my custom page. Hit OK. Now let's go ahead back to our site and you'll see now on the services page I get custom page as the output and on products I get none of that. So you can see that I am actually getting using a different template for the services page and you can even see the sidebar extra of course um, is no longer there or, or we used to have sidebar with a little bit more information on it. So this allows me to customize the output of any individual page based upon the settings that I have on that page when I go to it. I just choose a different um, template. Now the problem with that is that this is really great in certain ways, but it's a lot of extra code if you really look at it, the, at least the way I've got it done here. I've got my index page with all this code in it, and then I go and I create a new template for my custom page, and it's got all the same code in it. And so in the same tutorial, I'm actually going to look at what the difference is between this and an actual theme is. A theme is a collection of files with each file doing its own job. For example, we've been using for a long time, we've been using um, a functions file and a style file and then the index file and they all have their own purposes. But in a theme file, we're going to split this up and have a footer file and a functions file and a header file and an index file and then some other things, sidebar and, and everything else. If I go into the index file, you'll see what it's doing is requesting other files. Here it says get the header file and the get header, get sidebar, and get footer are all functions that WordPress does naturally or it's built into WordPress so it knows what to do or you can tell it to customize what file to get. So I'm going to get a custom file and that file is called my loop and so my loop basically has my main content. I can also keep the custom page and on the custom page I can get the um, header that I want and I can run my own content loop within this particular page so I don't have to get the loop that I have on the other file and then I can even get custom um, sidebars. For example, I'm using the get sidebar and associating it with the custom. What this does is this gets a sidebar with the name sidebar-custom which is the same thing as get template part sidebar-custom that you see here. If I go and actually look at that 
that's why we have this sidebar dash custom and that gets the sidebar extra file which is different than the regular sidebar because the regular sidebar gets the sidebar menu and the sidebar main so that means when we're on the custom page which is the services page I should be getting that sidebar instead of that sidebar so once again what we do is we separate the code into separate files this means that you really do need to know where your HTML is because if we go into something like the header which is a pretty major file you'll see I have all the basic code all the way up through the header and of course this is something that's up to you you can choose when to have it I have my navigation and everything in that one header file because I know that file is going to be shared across the entire website I also know that the footer file will be shared across the entire website and I forgot the function that um, shows my footer info but that's okay let's go ahead and try using this file I'll go to themes I'm going to activate that file and then let's go view our site so here is the regular web page or that this is the default page then I go to services and you'll see I get the custom page and I get my sidebar extra and I have two sidebar extra um, calls so that's why I'm getting it twice in here I go to products and I get the default sidebar which is great so we know that things are working now um, being able to deal with all the multiple files that you get here this is really starting to get us to understand what is going on with a WordPress um, theme now the problem is is that it goes way beyond what we're still doing here in fact when we start looking at the amount of files that's in a typical theme in WordPress it can be a little bit daunting and now we're getting into special names and those special names result in what's called the template hierarchy and that's what our next tutorial is going to be all about